Ten years. Ten years. And I'm a good one minute and I'm sick the next. A Taking Time Bomb is a film premiering this Sunday at the New Jersey Film Festival at Rutgers. It's a very personal story about the devastating effects of Lyme disease. The filmmakers are Tom and Tamara Balsamitis, who are married and did this to show the personal struggles they've had with Lyme disease. I caught up with the both of them at their home in Montvale. Lyme disease is in many ways a ticking time bomb that doesn't get the attention that other illnesses do, such as cancer. We have an epidemic in New Jersey that doctors should, the doctors know is an epidemic. The numbers are tremendous and they're not looking for it. They're not looking for the most obvious thing. And I always say that's like not looking for um, malaria in India. I spoke to Tom about his inspiration to make the film. He said that it was his wife. She was very sick um, with Lyme disease for 15 years. And as she started to progressively get better, we said, you know, there must be other people out there that are sick like this. Maybe we can bring some awareness and um, some education to the issue. So we decided together to um, make this documentary on Lyme disease. She said that it's been incredibly crippling for her. Prior to that, there were what I suspect smoldering symptoms of, what, of, of the Lyme, but it got to a point where I had a one-year-old and a three-year-old and I was crippled. I couldn't make it from the bed to the bathroom. She said that Lyme disease affects your weakest organs and goes after them first. And in her case, it's been her heart. Every system in my body has been attacked, but my heart, I already had um, mitral valve prolapse. So my heart is where I started having a lot of problems, which people don't, don't realize with the Lyme disease. I asked Tamara how she's dealing with Lyme disease now. You're crippled f physically, and then these poor families are crippled financially on top of it because you need to go see a Lyme disease specialist and they do not take insurance. So you can walk into a doctor and spend $3,000 in the first visit and none of, you're gonna get none of that back even if you have insurance. She's now been following her own antiviral program. This is the daily supplements. And then, you know, this is additional or, you know, something I'll be taking next week or next month. Of course, tons of fruits and vegetables because I'm living on them, so we're always making something. She showed me her cupboard, which is filled with tons of antiviral supplements, which she now takes. Did, how did she contract it? Does she know how? Does she know when? Can she go back to a specific point and say, ah, that was it. It's commonly believed that you can contract Lyme disease through a tick bite, but in her case, Tamara said that she never had that big rash you're supposed to get with that tick bite, so she doesn't, she has no idea.